Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm bringing you another crochet project. Now in case you haven't seen my previous crochet video where I summarised everything that I made in January, I'll have that video popping up on screen right now. But in that video I showed you one of the whips that I was currently working on and it was a granny square for this very project. So in this video that's what we're going to be working on, I will take you through the whole planning, the construction and show you the final product at the end. Before we get started, make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know to make more of these in the future and also subscribe if you haven't already for more crochet videos like this. Alright, so first things first, let me take you through my planning of this project. So like I mentioned in the previous video, after my JW Anderson sweater vest video, I overmade some of the black patches for that project. I then saw a picture of this dress on Instagram and I thought to myself why don't I use the black squares that I have and combine them in this sort of style to create a patchwork vest. So I began planning the squares for this vest, so I wanted two types of patches. I wanted one to be the smiley face and the other to be a basic granny square. I also wanted these patches to measure 5 inches by 5 inches and I planned on using some of the scrap yarn from that same JW Anderson project. So as well as the black base for this vest, I wanted to use contrasting brighter colours like red, orange, green and blue. And as for the layout of this vest, this was essentially what I had planned. Since each square I'm planning is going to be 5 by 5 inches, in total this vest should work out as a size UK 14 to 16. But obviously you can alter this to your own size, you just have to adjust the size of each square. And just to note that throughout this project I will be using DK acrylic yarn and a 5mm crochet hook.
waist coat slash vest is in your size and maybe you don't want to make it for yourself to save the time, then I am actually selling this item on my website and my vintage page if you're interested. So I'll have that link below. And for more pictures of this project, you can check out my Instagram, which is at Doody's Crochet. Of course, feel free to use this pattern as a template for your own patchwork ideas. And if you do make anything similar, I'd love to see it. So tag me on Instagram. Thank you for watching as always and thank you if you're one of the very new subscribers to this channel. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.